Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I want to compare ChatGBT Plus versus Bing Chat. Now, in one of my latest videos on ChatGBT being able to browse the internet, I saw a comment that caught my attention, and it was this one. So why not use Bing Chat instead? And while it seems obvious, Bing Chat actually used to be for the Microsoft Edge browser only, and there were always these limitations with Bing Chat when it first rolled out. But the more that I've actually looked into this, the more it got me to ask the question of ChatGBT versus Bing Chat, and that's the purpose for me making this video. So the first thing I want to call out with Bing Chat is that all you need to do to access this is come to bing.com and then click this chat button up top in the main menu and you're redirected to Bing Chat. A couple worthy items to point out here is that you don't even have to be signed into an account to access Bing Chat, whereas before you did, and like I said, Bing Chat was also only available on the Edge browser, so there were limitations. And now, as you'll see, I am on the Chrome browser and I'm not even signed into an account and I can use Bing Chat for free. The best part is you'll see up here, it says Bing Chat with GBT4. So that means we are using the GBT4 language model within Bing Chat 100% for free. And that begs the question, well, why would I use Chat GBT Plus when I have to pay $20 per month to get access to this GBT4 model? And that's what I'm going to dive into in this video. So I'm gonna be comparing you know, various things here with Bing Chat versus Chat GBT Plus. The first thing I wanna do is just ask it a quick recency prompt. So if I hover over GBT4 and I click browse with Bing, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to ask something that you know has recency intent. So I'm going to say, what is the current price of Bitcoin? And I understand this fluctuates a lot, but I wanna see the output that it provides and if it is somewhat accurate. So you'll see with this new browse extension here for GBT Plus, it says finish browsing. The current price of Bitcoin is 29,192.85, which is decreased by 0.96 in the last 24 hours. All right, let's ask Bing Chat the exact same thing. And by the way, both of these are pulling straight from the Bing search results. So I'm very curious to see the discrepancy here. As you'll see, this says almost 27,000 as it even gives me you know, a comparison chart here with an image and it get, lists the sources for learn more. Whereas the chat GBT browse extension gave me something that was you know, $3,000 more than what the actual price is currently, excuse me, $2,000 more than what the actual price is. So in terms of recency, it looks like Bing chat has the edge here. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to test between both of these is AI image generation. So if I stay on Bing chat here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it, please create me an image of Bitcoin. And what it's going to do is it's going to connect with the Bing image creator and it should give out some responses here of actual images relating to Bitcoin. As it says here, your image is generating. So you do have to be a little patient here while these AI images are generating in the background. All right, and as you'll see here, it did generate me four AI images of Bitcoin and not bad. And let's say I wanted to even click into one of these and I can click and it directs me to the image Bing image creator. I can share it, save it, download it, upload it to Canva, do whatever I want with this image now. So I'm gonna X out of the Bing image creator and I'm gonna come back to chat GBT. I'm going to click new chat and I'm going to paste the exact same prompt. Please create me images of Bitcoin. And right away it says, I can't assist with that. Now I do have a video talking about OpenAI releasing Dolly 3 here at some point in October of 2023. But as you'll quickly see here, it doesn't look like Dolly 3 or even Dolly 2 is integrated with the ChatGBT user interface. And if I click new chat and I just get rid of the browse with Bing. So if I click default and then I paste that exact same prompt, it says the same exact thing here. I'm unable to create or display images directly, but I can help guide you in finding creating images of Bitcoin. And it just offers general advice without actually solving the prompt. I'm gonna click stop generating. Um, so long story short guys, Bing chat integrates directly with the Bing image creator and can generate AI images. 
while ChatGBT Plus currently cannot. Dolly 3 is in the works soon, but I have to give the nod to Bing Chat when it comes to AI image generation. All right, guys, so one more thing I want to look at here is I want to ask it a creativity prompt. So I'm asking it, ChatGBT Plus, please provide me with five SEO titles for the following keyword, Digital Marketing Trends 2023. Make the SEO titles unique that would make someone click on my article. So I'm going to click enter and keep in mind, I do still have the web browsing uh, feature enabled here just to see what I get as an output. So I'm going to come back to this, but I'm going to ask Bing chat the exact same prompt. But before I do that, I'm going to try this creative option just to see what I get. So I'm going to copy and paste the same prompt about SEO titles. And while that's running in the background, I'm going to look at this first. And let's take a look quickly at what chat GBT plus came up with. So unlocking success, top 10 trends, future proof your business. I like that. That's a little creative. I always like numbers in the SEO titles too. Those tend to drive higher click through rates. Uh, navigate the digital tides, stay ahead, uh, trend shaping your tomorrow. Not bad. I would probably use one of these. This is probably one I would think about using or future proof. Um, but if I come back to Bing chat, you'll see what it's coming up with here. Hello, this is Bing. I can help you generate some SEO titles. Here are some titles that I came up with. How to stay ahead of the curve with digital marketing trends 2023. Digital marketing trends 2023, what you need to know. The future of digital marketing. Top 10 trends to watch out for. I like that one. That's probably a title I would use. What are digital marketing trends? No, digital marketing trends, no. These, are, these bottom two are more generic. If I had to pick one here, it would be this third one. Um, but overall, just looking at this, guys, I would maybe give the nod to ChatGBT+, but it's very close. Um, I'd probably go in there and tweak some things myself with just my knowledge of the industry and knowing what's going to entice clicks for a keyword like this. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, it's close, but I would give ChatGBT+, the close nod here. All right, guys, so the ultimate money question here is, is ChatGBT Plus worth the $20 per month when you can just use Bing Chat instead? And this depends on one thing, it's usage. If you're using ChatGBT Plus and AI tools in general every day, $20 per month should not be that much on the bottom line. And the biggest selling point for ChatGBT Plus over Bing Chat, in my opinion, is the ability to use these ChatGBT plugins. So if I come here and you'll see I've already used some like Canva. And guys, I have separate videos for all these on my channel that you can find tutorials for. But if you come over and click the plugin store, it has hundreds of these different plugins for different charts, tables, um, and just Wolfram Alpha and just various use cases. So if I click popular, these are the most popular ones right now. Click next and you can scroll through all these um, with chat GBT plus and just really cool to have the option to use these plugins that help not only make AI more efficient, but it has more functionalities and capabilities with these plugins that the Bing chat would not have. So that is the best selling point that I can think of for getting chat GBT plus over Bing chat. However, if you do not like using these plugins and you just want general text outputs and even AI image creations, then I would just stick with Bing chat to be honest with you. If you don't care about the plugins, then there's no need to get chat GBT plus. If all you want is general AI conversations, you know, short form content, long form content, um, things of that nature that you would typically use chat GBT for, I would just recommend sticking with Bing chat if you don't care about the plugins. And guys, just something else I want to show you here. If you are interested in, you know, better long form SEO optimized content, I would look into a tool like seowriting.ai. ChatGBT Plus and Bing Chat can only do so much when it comes to long form content. And using a tool like SEOwriting.ai will take your bulk content creation and your SEO optimized content to the next level, in my opinion. And guys, I do have a full video tutorial about SEOwriting.ai, and you can find that in the video description below. But that's it, guys. That is a video I wanted to make about ChatGBT Plus versus Bing Chat. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. I hope this video helped you guys out. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. And guys, I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.